a ninja. His strength and swiftness have become legend. Yet even the ninja knows all things must hide from the hurricane. Hurricane Honda. It will come in the spring of the new year. God, that is such a brilliant advert. So the bike shown in that advert is a Honda CBR 600F Hurricane. And uh, the Hurricanes were Honda's first fully fared sport bike series. Um, now, I'd argue that it was actually the first fully fared sport bike from Honda was the um, CBX 750 Ball Door. But who am I to say what Honda's first fully fared bike is? Anyway, the bike we'll be dealing with in this video series, if it becomes a series, is the rarest of the CBRs, and that is the CBR 750, a bike that I thought for many years Honda never made. But they did. From 1987 to 1988, they made the CBR 750 Hurricane. In 1987, they released it under the... It had the Super Aero tag on the back of the fairings, and that was to sell the Super Aerodynamic look of the bike. It's It's very smooth. So much so that they integrated the rear indicators or winkers into the rear light, the brake light. And on the 1988, they got rid of that feature, if you call it a feature, um, and basically made it a clone of the CBR 1000 Hurricane. So the indicators at the back of the bike were on separate little stalks. It was probably cheaper to do it like that. It also lost the Super Aero title or tag, and the Hurricane name on the side of the bike was really really reduced in size and moved so it took up less of a prominent area another thing that adds to the rareness of these bikes is the fact that they were only released for the japanese market so the reason why a lot of people don't think honda made a cbr 750 was because they didn't in any country apart from japan so these bikes could only be imported into the countries so imagine my surprise as i was scrolling through dundee which is Ireland's version of craig's list um when i came across this ad for a 1987 super aero cbr 750 hurricane about an hour and a half from my house i was thinking well and it was for a very good price so i was straight on the phone and i said um obviously i want the bike blah blah, blah. i went down to investigate the bike and see it and the, the condition was if it runs i will take it so I went down, got a van, went down hour and a half, saw the bike, beautiful, gorgeous, stored in a nice dry shed, um, took some work to get it out of the shed, but we got it out, um, wouldn't start, battery was dead flat, no lights coming on the dash, nothing, I didn't bring jump leads, I didn't bring anything because I didn't think I'd have to, so I agreed to come back three days later knock 100 off the price for the diesel to come up and down again back again got it out brought a battery myself this time brought jump leads myself plugged it in lights camera pressed the start button <laughs> no go no go was starting for about a minute and a half it was leaking fuel all over the place the place was covered in petrol thinking oh man this bike is not going to run and didn't i have the kill switch on so i flicked the kill switch and well see for yourself Mind yourself there, John. <laughs> so you can see from this image here from the video, just a few things with the bike. You can see directly under the middle of the bike, that dark patch, that is petrol, that is pouring out of the bike from a pretty serious fuel leak. Also, it's got an aftermarket exhaust. It actually has a four into one exhaust, which I am, I've actually tried to find online, but you, I cannot find. Like it's obviously a Black Widow, but I don't know what bike it's off because Black Widow did not make uh, any exhausts for the CBR 750. So I don't know if it's off a 600 or a 1000, but it sounds nice. It's got a baffle in it. it. It does the job quite nicely. If I could get a 400 to 2, I would love to. Um, it's got a few dings and scrapes on it, but for a bike 34 years old, I'm very happy with, 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 with it. So we loaded up on the van and the next clip you'll see is it in the shed.
good ending there, but here we get look at look at the forks and the seller did tell me look the fork seals are completely shot so these rags are cable tied over to try and keep the oil in, but it's running down the shocks, down the tubes and just dripping all over the place. Having a quick look at the disc here. I haven't fully inspected them yet, but I don't feel any big dips or ruts or gouges out of them or see any or cracks, but I need to do a further investigation and and you can see just how dry the shed was that it was in there was about an inch of very very dry clay in the shed this is just a shot of the bottom of the bike um, the lovely 4 into 1 exhaust no rust, no dings, a few spider webs the belly pan, the belly pan has been repaired um, it's cracked but it's 34 years old so I'm not too shocked and it might have had to been modded to uh, take the exhaust just showing the dust and the dirt again that clutch lever definitely bent the tag isn't as rusted as I thought it would be thank god I'm not sure what that furry stuff is and there's that ill-fated battery you can see how much is in it 4 volts like that wasn't going to do anything So this is the first time I'll actually be talking so I'm sorry if my voice isn't as clear as on the previous bits um, To get this tailpiece off so here and all of this to this line Basically the super aero section on both sides comes off as one piece um, We basically just have to There's one connector back here for the rear lights And there's no actual fasteners keeping it in it's all these push tabs Sorry now so there are two tabs from this one going through this and then this just locates in the frame. So we basically just have to push out that tab and you can't see the other tab really. It's there. And so that will basically just pop out of that nice and carefully. It's much easier to do this with the seat off because otherwise these bits catch the rim of the seat or the saddle I suppose, the saddle. Already I can see I need to invest in a tripod if I'm actually going to be doing this. I don't know how people do this. I really just want to go into this and go, 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 film and just, that rust, it, it looks bad, but really, it's 
old dry rust it's not deep now I've only seen this bit of the frame yet so get the side skirts off get the tank off and we'll actually have a look at the frame um, but I'm not too worried about this bit of sand and a bit of paint because no one's going to see this I'm going to end this now and I'm going to pop this rear bit off so the next bit you'll see will be this off I, I, I don't know why but I really just love the back end of this the way they integrated the I know it's not a big deal now but it, it's just so smooth because on the 600s and on the 1000 the indicators were separate attachments so this piece in particular is very unique to the 750s and and this bike although we're, I'm in Ireland obviously if you couldn't tell by my accent um, this bike originally looks like it spent some time in England um, it was imported here I believe in 2010 so I'm not sure if it came via England or via Japan um, so I don't know what what this is all about that'll probably be getting taken off as will Black Widow exhausts and EBC that'll all be going I want to try and get as back close to factory as I can. Um, right, the tear down, well, not tear down. The very careful removing of panels continues because this piece you cannot get. So next goes the panel with the uh, petcock, and as far as I can tell, this is the only fastener, which is a five. So bear with me, I don't want to break this panel. Uh, we 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 have our first little issue here. Uh, focus. Somebody did not like this fastener. So this lives in here. And it also looks like there's supposed to be a fastener here, keeping this panel in place, which we don't have but we're making this so this doesn't actually go through the frame it just sits in here so I'm going to try and put this back in here so we don't lose it there was also at the top of this panel at the top of this panel there is a little I don't know what you'd call that a plastic plug into a rubber boot and it just popped out and I have to say it was the same with my CX500 your sport the rubbers on these are just for a bike from the 80s, like they're still so fresh, thank God. Um, also, as I was taking it off, I realised throttle stop screw is hiding here behind this panel. So good to know. First sight of the carbs and something drilled. We go deeper. I couldn't get the screw back in because it was threaded so I've just stuck it with some tape to the inside of the panel so I'll have to get a new one of these. So this one also, extreme carefuling. And also this will have to come off. Also, I'm no sports bike expert, but this is the air intake for the airbox and the carbs. In later gens, like the fire blades and the other CBRs, they obviously move these to much more frontal, you know, air goes in and down as opposed to air goes in. So we just took a lot, we, I just took this panel off. There was only one fastener holding it in, whereas I can see there's clearly supposed to be two. Um, and I'm just relocating this back in frame, in the frame, so I don't lose the thing. Um, and really clever to secure it at the rear it just just hugs the, the frame that round piece just goes pump like around and grips it so um, something tells me this isn't factory <laughs> this bracket maybe it is maybe it's on the other side um, it just doesn't look very Honda neither of those bolts but uh, I don't know maybe I'd be surprised and on the other side of the other the mirror image of the panel we just took off we have a different fastener and the plot continues to thicken so I would assume we undo this fastener and we undo our little plastic 
shoe and rubber boot and this should all just go pop out but we will see we'll see promptly okay, okay so this just basically turned a quarter turn and it popped out and i've had a look it's retained so it won't come out so i'm not sure if that's factory or if the allen key on the other side is factory so we are learning together um you can see how good the paints anyway anyway i digress and um, there should be this should just pop out here and you should see rubber boot. you can see oh hang on the plastic foot that's through the rubber boot so that should just pop out oh god I don't like the feel of that not like the feel of that one bit mm, and that's why we're missing a fastener if you'd focus sorry now there is a fastener missing right where it's blindingly white and you can't see that is that would fix this in place which would enable me to pull this plastic thing out of the rubber boot. The fact that it's missing means when I pull this, you can see the whole panel is just flopping around the place. So you can see just, just ugh. underneath the rubber boot, there's supposed to be a fitting just there. So. I might jab a screwdriver or something in there, secure it, and then pull my thing off, so. In you end up. Well, color me surprised. A second intake. So. Okay. This thing guzzles the air. So two feeds into the air box. One from each side, obviously. Um, man, the symmetry of this is just wonderful. Um. Obviously, it's supposed to have a second exhaust. And in the future, if I can find one, I would love to fit it. But that would probably end up costing more than the whole bike has already cost me. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I don't know why I didn't think there'd be a second intake. Um, basically, to get this panel out, I just rotated the whole thing. Have it here. Rotated the whole thing up and then got my hands around the shoe and popped it out. The inner, oh, you can see this, this retained screw I was talking about. Let's have a look at this. Focus. So that, I'd say, is factory. And that's, that grabs into that second hole there again. There's supposed to be a fastener holding on the EBC panel. Looking at it, there's one. There's one in there holding that little thing on, so we'll pop that off. Um... Sorry, I'm learning as I go. I keep stopping to look at things. I might try and get the front two panel hurricane pants off this evening. Um, also, this one has a lot of heat shielding that the other one didn't have. So I may be re-adding that to the other panel. But it's good to see that it's still here. Something has snapped off here. But the main locating boots. These are the ones that locate in the super aero panel, as I've dubbed it. Um, frame is still looking quite good. I'm still happy. I'm still very happy. So, deep dive continues. Well, maybe that is Honda spec and Honda spec bolts, because it's on the other one, and it. I mean, everything lines up the way it should. Um, pardon my lights dying. Um, the master cylinder is a bit crusty <laughs> to put it lightly um, in fact is there even any fluid in there that whole thing we'll probably be getting well I know the brake isn't seized because we can push that well it might be seized close or open um, separately this bolt was finger tight and so far every bolt bar one has been finger tight so and so the tale of missing bolts continues we've one here we've one missing and this one mirror image is also missing we have a nut here um, 
present present some sort of grommet missing present I mean I don't expect this to be a museum quality bike by any means for what I paid for it that's never going to be the case um, so some, <laughs> someone's been butchering that one that's present that's a nut on the other side missing present so, so we boasted them so I, I could Unless there's some really messy things, I should be able to get these puppies off. And... Oh, she's just so pretty. So, remove this. And this. Actually, there's a screw that they use on the other side. Anyway, this and this and this whole panel just dropped off in one piece. And consider my heebies jeebied, because... Focus. Yep, that is a big ass, thankfully dead spider. To say I nearly jumped only for I was holding this basically priceless body panel, it would have been. Tr I do not like spiders. I do not like spiders one bit. So that panel nearly entered a low earth orbit. But cutting back, and this is where it hopefully died. So I'm going to call it for the night. Hopefully it's not in the starter motor. Hopefully it is and I cooked it when I started the bike. Um, but yeah. Man, look at that frame. Nice. And these bolts were encouragingly tight. on, on all, all the way around. So I don't think the people who were fiddling back there were fiddling up here. So I'll deal with the tank and the front another time. I couldn't actually get the, the oil. Oh! The oil um, dipstick off. So I, I'll tackle that another night. I don't want to break it. So we're going to go nice and easy. There's another very bad angle of the, uh, the side of the bike. So like even these foam things are still in place and they're still, still so spongy. They haven't dried out or cracked or anything like that. I think we did good. I think we did good. And by we, I mean me. I think I did good. With this puppy. So. Let's get a wide angle. That's a bit better. She's not looking too bad. For what I spent. Not looking too crusty. Yes. Could be a different story when I get under the tank. I know there is a catastrophic fuel leak. I mean, I'm trying to fuel on the thing that starts gushing. So I am assuming there's two fuel lines that go down and feed. One feeds these two carbs, one feeds the other two carbs. I'm hoping one of them is just split or sprayed or off. Um, the lad I bought it off told me, look, the carbs are shot. Even though it started on the button and idled off choke at like a thousand RPM with the gushing fuel. So I don't think it's anything too catastrophic. I hope. Um, but we, we, we will we will leave that mystery for another day so thank you for watching if you watched I'm not going to ask you to like share and subscribe because I don't know how many more of these I'm going to do if any or if I'm even going to upload this um, I suppose I've been looking up CBR 750s to try and find this type of video and I can't, oh, I can't find them there's a few people trying to sell them so the whole point as I'm sure I said this at the start is to actually give people a reference to say and I'm not a mechanic <laughs> this is what the inside of these bikes actually look like this is where the bolts go this is how you get the panels off and plus it'll help me put the thing back together because not a mechanic <laughs> not a mechanic anyway um, thank you for watching and listening and hopefully enjoying right bye